Hi everyone, today is a Saturday. Last time na nagpost ako ng uh, picture that I'm wearing a military uniform. May mga nagtaka. For those who do not know it yet, I am actually a commissioned officer in the reserve force of uh, the armed forces of the Philippines, particularly in the Philippine Army. Ngayon, uh, nandito tayo sa Camp Riego de Dios, Tansa Cavite. Nandito ang headquarters ng Army Reserve Command. Para sa mga hindi familiar, meron tayong dalawang uri ng mga sundalo sa ating bansa. Meron tayong mga nasa regular force o yun yung mga kadalasan ay nakikita natin sila yung mga uh, nasa front line sa uh, pakikidigma sa mga kalaban ng ating bansa. At meron din namang mga nasa reserve force uh, o yung mga wala doon sa front line ng digmaan pero ang focus ay dun sa iba pang aspeto ng, uh, ng pagiging sundalo for example, disaster response and risk reduction uh, yung training ng ating mga uh, ROTC kung saan din develop yung leadership skills ng ating mga estudyante and uh, for other aspects of civil military operations for example, yung gumagawa ng mga medical mission uh, rescue operations uh, and the like ako Uh, as a commissioned officer, aking primary role is uh, first, I am serving as an assistant commandant of one of the ROTC units here in the province of Cavite. And in addition to that, I am also serving as uh, the assistant operations officer ng Ready Reserve Infantry Battalion na nakakasakop dito sa province of Cavite. Yung ating uh, Ready Reserve Infantry Battalion ay binubuo ng mga reserve officers and enlisted personnel na may mga ranggo sa military but they also have their civilian jobs uh, yung iba sa kanila businessmen, professionals uh, yung iba sa kanila uh, mga ordinary tao na nakikita natin sa ating paligid but every weekend, katulad ngayon it's a Saturday uh, sila ay nagpupunta doon sa kanilang military installation or military camp kung saan hinahasa yung kanilang kahandaan kung sakali nakailanganin ng regular force ng tulong ng reserve force sa uh, kanilang mga day-to-day -day mission kung saan man sila naroroon no? ako naman uh, most of my assignments in the reserve force are aligned sa teaching since I am a licensed professional teacher I am assigned sa teaching opportunities in the armed forces Katulad last year, uh, I was assigned uh, to handle the academic training of those who are preparing to become uh, officers in the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Kung inyong tatanungin, meron bang uh, financial na nakukuha sa pagsali sa Reserve Force? Generally, wala. Uh, it is pure volunteerism since most of uh, us in the Reserve Force actually have our weekday jobs naman. What we do here is we share our skills to the AFP na maaaring magamit nila in developing the overall AFP organization. I'm here today because I'm attending a, a battalion staff conference. I will try to uh, show you um, what it's like to be a weekend soldier para makita natin na ang AFP ay hindi lamang yung regular force na laging nandun sa harap ng digmaan. staff conference. If you're wondering kung uh, ano yung aking status sa uh, reserve force, I am a commissioned officer. When you say commission, yung authority mo to serve as a leader in the military comes from the President of the Philippines. 
So, so ino-authorize kanya mismo to handle a particular uh, position in the military service. Kapag yung iba naman na mga non-commissioned officers or tinatawag nating mga enlisted personnel, they are the backbone of uh, the military because they are the ones who are executing the orders of uh, the commissioned officers. Their authority in the AFP does not come from the president but it comes from the major service commanders na nakakasakop sa kanila. An officer or a commissioned officer holds the rank of second lieutenant pataas up to the rank of general. They are the leaders in the armed forces while the non-commissioned officers or the enlisted personnel are those from the rank of private up to the rank of uh, master sergeant and that is uh, in the Philippine Army. If You are interested in joining the reserve force. There are various uh, ways. Merong mga enlist sa reserve force because they are graduates of uh, the ROTC. So when you finish the ROTC program in your school or university, then you automatically receive your enlistment order and uh, AFP serial number upon graduation from the ROTC. You will become part of the standby reserve. Ang mga yari jan kapag may need kinulang ng tao yung regular force at uh, uh, wala ng tao dun sa ready reserve force then that's the time that they will tap the services of those in the standby reserve force you can also be part of the ready reserve force naman which is yun yung mga always uh, alert and always ready to answer the call of duty you can apply for the BCMT or the Basic Citizens Military Training na ino-offer ng mga CDCs or mga community defense centers natin which are located in different provinces all throughout the country. Most probably, uh, mayroong isang CDC na nakakasakop sa lugar kung nasaan kayo. Here in uh, Cavite, uh, ang ating community defense center dito na nag-handle ng mga reservist activities is located in Camp Riego de Jostan sa Cavite and that is the 402nd Cavite Community Defense Center. So, sila yung nagsusupervise doon sa activities ng ating uh, Ready Reserve Infantry Battalion uh, na nag-ooperate dito sa province of Cavite. If uh, you are a licensed professional, you can actually apply to be a commissioned officer. You can use your PRC license to serve as your uh, basis for commission. So, <clears throat> halimbawa, in my case, I'm a licensed professional teacher and I applied uh, my license as my basis for commission in the AFP. I, I got the rank of second lieutenant, which is basically the lowest rank of the commissioned officers in the AFP. Kung marami ka ng years of uh, service as a professional, then you can also apply for uh, readjustment in rank kung saan uh, they will compute your years of service in the practice of your profession and look for its equivalent in the uh, yung tinatawag nating time in grade ng military service. So for example, nagkaroon ka na ng 7 uh, years of service uh, as a teacher, then you will get the rank equivalent to that particular uh, years of service. You can also become part of the reserve force if you are an elected official. So, pwede mong gamitin yung iyong pagiging isang elected official para maging isang commissioned officer. So, since you are an elected leader, madali na rin para sa AFP to process your commission as a leader din in uh, the AFP. Kung meron ka yung tinatawag na man in every barangay, for example, if we will uh, process the commission ship in the reserve force of our barangay captains or barangay kagawans, then uh, that means we can easily form a mobilizable reserve force anywhere in the Philippines. Meron din tayong mga tinatawag na mga affiliated reserve units wherein, for example, you are part of a corporation or a company na yung inyong services na ino-offer is uh, very much uh, essential sa continuous uh, operations ng ating AFP especially during times of emergency and in times of war then uh, during those uh, cases pwede nilang itap yung services ng inyong company to provide for the needs of the armed forces and the country in general so kung kayo ay part ng ganong corporation 
yung buong corporation niyo, yung buong company niyo can apply in the reserve force as an affiliated reserve unit then yung inyong mga executives they will be the commissioned officers then uh, the other employees will be the enlisted personnel of that military unit yung iba naman they become part of the reserve force because they have retired from uh, the active service in the AFP so minsan makikita natin <coughs> yung mga Uh, retired AFP officers and enlisted personnel kung kaya pa nila na patuloy na maglingkod sa ating bansa kahit na sila ay retired na sa active service they can voluntarily uh, incorporate themselves in the reserve force of the AFP once you're already in the reserve force uh, you can be assigned to handle uh, tasks such as uh, training other uh, members of both the reserve and regular forces. You can be a resource person. You can also be called to active duty. For example, ngayon, we are uh, in the middle of a COVID-19 pandemic. So, yung mga reservists natin na nasa medical field, they are being called to active duty for a period of uh, two years para makatulong sila doon sa efforts ng ating pamahalaan versus COVID-19. Then they will receive the pays and allowances equivalent to their uh, rank in the reserve force. What other benefits ang nakukuha ng ating mga members ng reserve force? You get hospitalization benefits in uh, military hospitals. Kung halimbawa naman, uh, katulad ko nung ako ay ikinasal, so I was able to avail of a military wedding wherein uh, may mga personnel doon na they will do the cross sword na tinatawag natin. If, for example, dumating sa point na ikaw ay pumanaw, there are also funeral honors following the military tradition and you will also have access to AFP services. For example, yung komisari wherein you can buy your groceries without having to pay for the VAT So, mas mababa yung presyo na nabibili mo yung mga items na yon. Hindi lang puro mga nakikipaglaban ang ating mga sundalo. Yung iba ay katulad namin na ang ginagawa is uh, naghahanda kami for natural disasters. Meron tayong Corps of Professors, yung Judge Advocate General Service na binubuo ng mga abogado, uh, Medical Corps, Nurse Corps, uh, Medical Administrative Corps, the Veterinary Corps, the Dental Service, The chaplain service na binubuo ng mga uh, pare, pastor, mga imam. Ang gusto kong iparating dito is that the armed forces of the Philippines is not just about armed services lang talaga. Marami pang aspeto ang AFP na hindi natin usually nakikita. So I hope I was able to share uh, some things sa inyo. And if you're interested in joining the reserve force, Uh, you may contact your nearest community defense center. Thank you very much for joining me today and uh, have a great day ahead.